Hey guys, welcome to Mike and May's Great Adventure. Um, okay, so what I'm doing right now, I'm trying out a run. Um, and it's a dedicated run. It, I meet a guy in Walton, Kentucky at TA Truck Stop. I get a TJ, TJ Max load from him. And then I, I come up to Homestead, Pennsylvania, which is a suburb of Pittsburgh. And from Homestead, I'll, I'll deliver here. It's a pallet drop. So there's 11 pallets on this trailer for this TJ Maxx. I'll pull them off with the pallet jack. It's pretty simple. Then I'll go... When I'm done here, I'll go to Greensburg, which is a suburb a little further out from Pittsburgh. Um, I'll deliver that TJ Maxx. And that's a pallet drop, 11 pallets for them. And then I'll go to Indiana, Pennsylvania to TJ Maxx. And that's, um, they put the rollers up in the trailer. Now I'll put the boxes on the rollers and roll it out to them in the store. That's, I'm giving it a go. I'm going to do this trip. Then next week I'm going to run this run and see if the miles work for me, if I can handle uh, throwing cases. It's been a lot of years. I have a really bad back, so I got to be careful. My beautiful, wonderful wife bought me one of the best back braces there are. It's the uh, copper something, copper, copper fit uh, back brace. So I'm going to put that on for those loads. I'm just not going to risk it. So what I'll do is two round trips one week I'll deliver these I'll get a backhaul probably in uh, uh, Brockway Pennsylvania it's about 11 miles from my last stop and then I'll run that back down to the TA in Walton Kentucky uh, and the drive the other RTI will be coming in to meet me with the new TJ Maxx, so he'll take the back haul. I'll take the TJ Maxx, then I'll come up and do the same thing again. I'll do that twice, one week, and then three times the next week. So every other week's a big week, small week, big week, small week. Um, and at the end of the week, on my short week, which uh, t tomorrow when I start unloading, it's just the end of my short week so when I'm done unloading I may or may not get a backhaul and then take it home with me I'll be home tomorrow late afternoon uh, Friday and then I'll leave Saturday afternoon around 4 or 5 o'clock to get out there in time to start my Monday delivery then I'll do a Monday Wednesday Friday I'll get home Friday to my house Friday afternoon or evening, uh, more than likely afternoon. Then I'll be off Friday night, Saturday, Saturday night, and I'll leave Sunday uh, around four or five o'clock to do my two trip week. So I'm hoping this works out. I'm just a little concerned about the miles. Um, they don't quite seem to be there unless I'm missing something. So I'm going to crunch numbers and figure things out. Maybe to get the miles up on the run my first trip of the week, maybe they'll let me just run the whole way out to Owensboro with my backhaul, drop that and get my own TJ Maxx and, and uh, head over here. That'll at least give me uh, 400 more miles. And I think I think everything could be pretty acceptable then if I could get that. So that is what is going on. 
and I told you in the video when we were at the Red Rabbit, I had exciting news. To me, it's exciting because uh, if I can just get the miles up a little bit, I'm sure I can handle the freight. It's just a one stop where I have to throw the cases on that roller. So that's not bad, it's not a whole truckload. If that works out, uh, we'll have the best of all worlds. May will be, she has her job at Burger King. She's home. I'll be out. Uh, see, uh, Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, the one week on the short week, and then I'll be out uh, on my long week. I'll be out. Saturday night, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So, what was that? Five? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'll be out five nights on my long week, four nights on my short week. But the way it works, I'll never have more than one full day at home. I'll get home in the afternoon. Um... I'll have Thursday night or Friday, depending on the week. And I'll have the next full day off. And then I'll be leaving uh, late in the afternoon on the third day. But it's more home time than most truck drivers get. So let's keep our fingers crossed. If you want to toss a little prayer up there that somehow financially this, this works. Um, that's another thing I forgot. Uh, I get $200 in stop pay on every trip because we have to handle the freight, whether it's with the pallet jack or throwing the cases. I get $200 per trip in stop pay. So on the short week, that's $400. On the long week, that's 600 And that will just about, it'll cover two-thirds of my fuel uh, if not a little more because TJ Maxx loads are pretty light I averaged uh, almost 11 miles to a gallon coming over here so with that kind of mileage I won't be burning a whole lot of fuel but let's keep our fingers crossed and uh, that would be about the perfect situation for me and I so thank you for watching, everybody. Please subscribe, comment, share, and like. Until next time, take care.